Hey, hi, hello, thank you so much for joining us for another episode of our Mass Effect playthrough. Today's episode is going to be us going to Pharos, uh, and then we're going to travel back to the Citadel because uh, if you watched any of the bonus content that I did um, and that I spliced together, I did a lot of missions, like nearly all of them. So now we're going to get back into the story time. We're going we're gonna to get back into story time. Oh boy. It's a city in the clouds. Is Lando here? That was a big bada boom. I mean, obviously. We all, we, we know who I favored at this point. We saw your ship. Fidan wants to speak with you immediately. Who? Who's Fidan? He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They're making another push. Oh, okay. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Okay. Woo! Yeah. You assholes! He was doing his job! He's a blue-collar man living in a bullshit world. And you just took him out. Like the selfish bunch of pricks that you are. Oh, oh. <sighs> Those things are nasty. Don't come back. Ooh, is that the cryo shots? Oh, it's our guys. Hi. The Geth will surely kill us all. How is the woman supposed to think? Listen, listen, it's okay. This is this is way more hectic than I thought. Oh, Commander, I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. Sorry, Commander. I've been busy. Watch out! We've got gas in the tower. Protect the heart of the colony. He's Louise. All right, well, if you're gonna be coming to me, then you better get all the way down here and not make me have to crawl. Bunch of jerks. I cannot believe you're making me go up the stairs to kill you. My Garmin thinks I'm under too much stress. <laughs> I think I'll be okay. Oh, we just gotta keep, we just gotta keep going, huh? Time for you. Nice shot, Gareth. Rex, where are you? Did Rex get caught somewhere? The tower's secure. Thanks to you, Commander. Happy to help. I'm just glad your colony's safe. I appreciate your concern and your efforts against the Geth. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. Why? What do they want? If you want answers, go ask them yourselves. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. What's Exogeny? I'm really tired of people it's giving me lip. The most of us work for before the attacks. They fund this colony. Okay. The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. I didn't expect this would be easy. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. Tell me about your colony. What What's considered operational, Life is too? hard and often brutal, even without our current problems. Colonial Affairs back on Earth told us we'd be beneath the notice of any raiders. I guess they weren't counting on the Geth. I guess so. But, despite everything, there's something tranquil about this place, unlike anything I've experienced before. How many people lived here? How big was the original Pharos colony? We were nearly a thousand at the main site, 200 more at my outpost. When the first wave obliterated our defenses, we fell back to Zoo's Hope. It's operational. What do you need done to get this place back on its feet? We need those Geth destroyed. Marcelia's right. There are still Geth in the tunnels. We also have more mundane problems like food, water, and power. I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseeing them. Is there anything I can do to solve your water shortage? 
Maka Doyle has been assigned to that Maka particular Doyle. issue. Okay. If you have any insight to offer, please speak with her. Okay. You mentioned something about a food shortage. Davin Reynolds is tasked with securing food for the immediate future. Okay. If you can assist, please speak with him. Got it. What's wrong with the colony's power supply? May O'Connell is working on our power problems. She'd know more about it than I do. Do you have information about Geth in the lower tunnels? Nothing new. They're in the tunnel somewhere, likely guarding a transmitter to coordinate attacks. Okay. It's not a critical threat right now, but getting rid of that transmitter will help us defend against further attacks. Okay, this honeydew Let's list of Zeus saviorism is a lot. Tunnel. What else can you tell me about Exogeny? Exogeny funded this colony. Without them, we wouldn't be stuck here. They specialize in colonization. In return for bankrolling the colony, we work for them. Their main goal is the retrieval of valuable artifacts or mm -hmm. resources. Except there isn't anything here. Or if there is, we didn't find it. Artifacts. I wonder if that's what the Geth are looking for. Perhaps. As she said, we never found anything of value. Okay. Of course, the Geth could know something we don't. Okay, that's the smartest thing that you've said so far. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Bitch. Tired of people giving me fucking attitude in this game. You're the one who repelled that last wave. Tried my best. Be and if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. Varen meat? The Alpha Varen. He's huge and he's mad. Rabid, maybe. Totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. Where is this thing? Tell me about hunting Varen. Hunting them is impossible while fending off the Geth. On the positive side, they'll attack anything, even those damn synthetics. The big Alpha Baron is the real problem. He's mad, erratic, completely unpredictable. Tell me about Zeus Hope. The colony is growing, or it was. But you should speak with Fidan. Okay, this is he just is gonna her. turn into a he said, she said. Tell me about yourself. What's to tell? I came here with my wife Greta, looking for adventure, a new life together. This isn't exactly what we signed up for. Of course, it would be much better without the Geth. We were really starting to enjoy the colony before they came. I have to go. So Bye. Okay. So we're going to get a couple side missions as well as destroying the... You're the commander of the ship that just landed. That's right. Are you the captain of this freighter? Not originally. A captain died in one of the Geth raids. I'm the last crew member. Okay. We shouldn't even be here. The Solarian merchant promised us a fortune. Uh oh. I wish. I suppose it could be worse. And you fly it? What's wrong with the ship? Isn't she spaceworthy? There's too much damage. Maybe if the Geth stopped attacking, I could fix her. Then again, if there were no Geth, I might just stay on a while. What do you know about the colony? We just arrived a short time ago. It seemed like any other colony at first, but. Different, somehow. different? What do you mean? It, it's hard to explain. It's kind of like... I, I can't describe it. I, you should speak with Fidan. He, he knows the colony better than me. What do you do here? I'm just watching over the ship, making sure she doesn't get any worse. Oh boy. <laughs> Nothing else. She's good for hiding in when those geth come over the walls. It looks like you're monitoring something. No, well, just ship diagnostics. It's nothing. I... I should get back to it, but Fidan, what's the report on? I should go. Maybe I can help you. What are you trying to diagnose? No, thanks, really. Now, please, I, I need to get back to work. Okay. People sure are acting weird. All y'all are fucking suspicious. Commander, I was told to make my supplies available to you, if you wish. Let me see what you have. Of course. I may be able to provide a few interesting items. Thank you. Damn, these are expensive. Let's keep talking to all the folks and then we'll see what we can do to I'm help. Sorry, but I can't stop to talk. I have to deal with the water shortage. What's wrong? Is there anything I can do? The utilities building was one of the first to fall under Geth control. Find the mains and turn them back on. Until then, this colony is dry. Do it yourself? Jesus Christ. Tell me about the colony. We are a small group, part of a larger colony. 
before the Geth attacked. You should speak to Fai Dan. It's his responsibility. He knows the colony best. What do you know about this planet? Tell me, tell me. I am not the one to ask about that. Ask Fai Dan or one of the others. Okay, so then why are people... Tell me about yourself. Stop giving me as I'd an option. Not. This is not the time or the place. Please, help us or don't. Otherwise, leave me to my work. All right. I have to go. I wish you luck. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. Finally, someone with some still need gratitude. This generator, though. Would it help if I brought in some power cells from the Normandy? We can certainly spare a few. The top of the line ship doesn't use the same parts as the old generator we've mm. got. The cells just aren't compatible. If I find anything while I'm looking around, I'll send it your way. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate it. Let's see what ungrateful pricks are going to be upset with me now. Listen, do I fully understand that the reason they're this way is because of <clears throat> stress, but like... I'm grateful for what you've done, but your heroics don't impress me, Commander. I get the feeling you don't like me. Yeah. How would you feel if you were hung out to dry by every government organization that ever promised to keep you safe? They should have sent a small fleet. Instead, we get one ship. And you're only interested in the Geth. Okay. What well, can you tell me about the Geth? Do you have any idea what they might be after? My timing, not great. I can't tell you anything <clears throat> about that. I suggest you go to Exogeny if you want answers to those questions. Tell me more about yourself, Arcelia. I'm a rent-a-cop. I was hired to keep kids from writing graffiti on the walls at Exogeny. Then all this happened. I wasn't trained for this. I didn't ask for it. I just wanted to end. What can you tell me about Exogeny? Very little. I work there as a security officer. Mm. I know they were looking for artifacts and anything of value. Mm. That's what they do. They fund the colony. In return, we help them uncover buried treasure. It's definitely not as exciting as they make it sound. All right, let's get the hell out of here. So we need to do this first for sure. Oh, okay, water valves. This valve looks like part of a large system. There are likely others we need to activate as well. Uh, Gareth, you're so knowledgeable. Also, I 100% almost just said Gareth. So, you know, that's where my brain is right now. Wait. I didn't mean to open that. I didn't know it was a door. Shit balls. The Varian falls dead, riddled with slugs. This is supposed to be the Alpha Veil, the pack leader of these feral scavengers. You're just chilling down here, dude. You don't want to go down there. Who the fuck are you? What are you doing down here? Yeah. Nothing I should be. Anything I shouldn't. No! That was a good one. Very intense. Are you okay? What's the matter with you? Just invoking the master's whip. Helps remind me I'm still alive. What? You're here for the Geth, aren't you? You're not the only one interested in those. What are you talking about, Who else dude? Is looking for the Geth. Not looking for. Looking to get rid of. They're a thorn in the side of the. Ah! I'm trying to get to the. Dying! <laughs> Let's go. He can't help us. Is there anything I can do to help you? Do you even want help? Help me? No. No one can help me now. What is happening? I'd rather die fighting. Fighting? Fighting what? Not that kind of fight. It's like running through a thorn bush. The more you struggle, time's up. Company's coming. Ask my dad. Ask him about the. Ah! Look out. Oh. 
Okay, dude. I don't know how to comprehend anything that just fucking happened. Listen here. Woof. Are we done? Are we done? Also, 100% thought Garrus was a Geth, and I'm sure he doesn't appreciate that, but can we get, like, armor that doesn't look like the Geth? How about that? All right, transmitter tower is... Dunzo. All right, this one. To the system. Yay! All right, let's go talk to people. Commander, what can I do for you? Who the f Some of the colonists are acting strange. We're a close-knit group, Commander. Most of us have lost loved ones, friends. These aren't trained soldiers. Nobody taught us how to deal with the horrors of war. Okay. This is our home. We've watched the Geth slowly destroy everything that is important to us. Don't judge us too harshly. I mean, I destroyed a Geth transmitter. I in judge the a little. They won't be a problem any longer. Thank you, Commander. We're in your debt. You've taken a great weight off my shoulders. I just wish I had such good news for every problem. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. Okay, let's go. Figure out these problems, and then we will get the fuck out of here. Maybe. Who knows? We'll find out. I killed the big Baron. The rest are yours. Excellent. I'll organize a hunt when the immediate threat of the Geth is gone. I have to go. I don't need anything. Here. For your trouble. It's not much I know, but it's all we can spare. You don't have to give me anything. Like, for realsies, like, you, you good. I'm rich as shit now, so like we're good. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. Thanks. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. Take a look at these. Oh, these power cells in the tunnels. Are they what you're looking for? I knew they'd turn up eventually. Here, my dad gave me some requisition money. It's all yours. Now, if I can kick these power cells into place, I'll have this colony up and running in no time. Yeah. The water started running not long ago. Thanks to you, I assume. Oh, now she's now nice. Just need to deal with the Geth, and we can get back to growing this colony. Here, a few credits for your trouble. Thank Thanks. You. Thanks. Commander, what can I do for you? There's a guy living down in the tunnels. Is he one of yours? That would be Ian. He's very sick. No kidding. He seems to be more than just sick. He hasn't been the same since the attack. We tried to help him. But he wouldn't listen to us. I can't help my people if they won't listen, Commander. Medicate him, strange behavior. Don't you have medical supplies? Something to help him? I wish it was that simple. Ian was a good man I'd like to have with us. Please, Commander. I'd prefer not to talk about it anymore. This is weird. I'm get this is this is weird. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Is that um oh okay so that that cleared that up all right that's there's something funky going on between the pilot and then this shit i don't know i guess that's what we're doing where am i going again and now to the geth base that's something an intelligent mind expects to see Here we go. Here we go. Geth with their big scary machine monsters. Sweetie Pie, we can say hi. 
That's close enough. Oh, shut up. Jong. They're obviously not Geth. Duh. Get back, Juliana. Who are you? What do you want? Commander Shepard, I'm here to remove your Geth problem. You see? You worry too much. And you trust too easily, Juliana. Okay. I'm just Calm glad down. to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. Phi Dan and some of the members of Zeus Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. They're surviving, but the Geth really hit them hard. Mm. You know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. I don't like the way you answered that. Like you were expecting them to be dead for a reason. Are we getting close to their base? You're mm. almost there. They're holed up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit further down the Skyway. Those headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. You are just making me want to snoop. Like, so bad. Oh, just a reminder that I can kill you. I can't stay here. I need to move on. Commander, before you go, my daughter, Lisbeth, mm -hmm. she's missing. Okay. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We could do a proper accounting of our casualties after the Geth are gone. That's my daughter you're talking about. She's still alive. I know it. Where is she? Where's your daughter, Juliana? She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Okay. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. For a short time. Tell me about the colony. We established ourselves here four years ago. Growth was steady until the attacks. Our biggest challenge has been the lack of resources. There's just so little here of value. Still, we were making a go of it. It was even starting to feel like home. What brought you here? I guess I thought this would be the start of a new life. Everybody keeps saying I the same thing. Where I could feel like I was making a difference. Instead, everything we built is destroyed. It's very hard not to lose hope. Do you know what the Super positive. I have no idea. We certainly haven't found anything of use. Something Exogeny is keen to remind us of. We need to recoup our expenses. It's nothing personal. How did you get split up from the Zeus Hope colony? Intentionally. Most of us closer to the Exogeny building. Zeus Hope was mostly used as a port. When the Geth hit, we scattered. Until you told us about the others, we assumed they were killed in the first wave. Mm. If we had known they were still alive, we might have attempted to join them. They're fairly secure now. Maybe you should do that. No, 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 no. I don't think that's a good idea. We, we have no vehicles, and the Skyway offers little protection. Like the building we're in now? Listen, our best hope is to sit tight and wait for company reinforcements. We'll come eventually. Sure. What was the building used for? Oh, yeah, we repurposed that structure to serve as headquarters for Exogeny. That's mostly offices with a number of uh, light-duty R&D labs. Exogeny is a master at repurposing anything and everything. Mm. The company has to make a profit somehow, Juliana. Ferros is a long way from self-sufficient. Okay. Stay bunkered down until I find out what the Geth are after. Of course. And please remember, if you see my daughter... I was hoping you'd have a moment to speak with me. I've got a bit of a problem. Of course. What do you need? I need to retrieve some data. It's not a big job, but it pays well. I'm listening. Good, good. Poking around in the ruins has become a bit too dangerous for me. Why do people always assume we enjoy putting ourselves in harm's way? Thank you, Garrus. It's not that bad, really. All you need to do is find my console at Exogeny headquarters and drop the data onto this OSD. It's that simple. I'll look around if I get the chance. I appreciate it. That data could be worth a lot of money. To who? Of course, this all depends on getting out of here alive. What's on Tell the data? Tell me about the data I'm getting for you. Plans for a few prototype mods. I'm a freelancer. Some of my mods are highly sought after. Like ones that I could buy? Why work in the middle of nowhere if your skills are so useful? Maybe I've got a bit of the frontier spirit in me. That, and the alternative is a bit too secure for my liking. Freelancers don't have to worry about security as much, so long as we keep a low profile. As in, I would go to prison. Alright, any more dropships? 
Any more shenanigans? Oh, well, spoke too fucking soon, didn't I? Am I gonna get sandwiched? I'm jammed by what? They don't. What are they up to? There's no point to this unless they're looking for something. Nice. All right, let's go. Maybe not me overheating my gun, but still, good job, y'all. Not the most apparent of things. Damn it! Jesus Christ, lady. I'm so sorry. I thought you were Geth or one of those Varen. Who are you and what are you doing in here? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running and I stayed mm -hmm. to back up data. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on, and the power went out. Oh I boy. was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. We'll get you out as soon as we find out what the Geth are after. It's not the Geth. It's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... You can tell me. For the Geth. It's very important that I find out what they're after. I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. What's the Thorian? What's a Thorian? Thanks, Rex. It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. Where is what it? Else can you tell me? Do you know where I can find this Thorian? I, I might be able to, but not with those Geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. Any suggestions? No, not exactly. But I think the Geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the Geth laying power cables everywhere. You could follow those cables, but there's Geth all over the place. What the fuck is a Thorian? I don't know about the Thorian? I really don't know that much about it. I think it's some kind of plant being. Plant I being? I it's very old. Thousands of years, even. Why do you think the Geth would be interested in the Thorian? It's just a plant. I don't know why the Geth would care. Exogeny was studying it, but I don't think they found anything special. Tell me about yourself. I'm just a research assistant for Exogeny. Mm -hmm. I came here with my mother. I don't even know if she made it out alive. She did. She's with some others from the colony. Yeah. She's safe for now. Yeah. She's alive? Oh, thank God. I thought I was the only one left. Please, Commander, just get that field down so I can see my mother again. Let's get out of here. You stay put. I'll go open some doors. Oh, here, take my ID. This should get you past any locked doors. Ooh, smart thinking. I am unable to comply. Please oh, we got a VI. Okay, cool. Damn it! Tell me what I want, or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust. Please contact your supervisor for a level four security exemption, or make an appointment with. Stupid machine! Okay. If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. Hey. Nice blast. Exogeny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Listen. Welcome back, research assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? I need answers. What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details <gasps> on the study of subject species 37. The Thorian. Go on. Tell me everything you told the Krogan. I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. How about me? Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on Species 37. Well, it's all new to me, so any all data's new. Monitoring the observation post at Zoo's Hope have been inactive for several cycles. Maybe that's what was in the ship that the lady 
didn't want oh, everybody's just lying what does Zeus hope have to do with the Thorian species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zeus hope outpost tell me everything you know about the Thorian the Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora so it's Seymour from Little Shop of Horrors. Of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. The Zoo's Hope Control Group has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. Are you saying Exogeny knew its people were getting infected? I fucking knew it. It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. I fucking knew it. That's why they were acting so strange. Yep. You should contact Joker. Joker, come in, Joker. Damn it, that field's blocking us. We've got to drop that shield and get back to the outpost. VI, what can you tell me about the Geth ship and the field it's generating? Please tell me any information. I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. Mm. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. Please access my personal files. Elizabeth Bainham, research assistant, biomedical division. Security level four, huh? You are currently under probation due to disagreements with management over established company policy. These sanctions may be lifted if your next evaluation is more agreeable. What triggered the probation? You were marked as combative about the operations of the Zoo's Hope project. So she didn't want it to happen. The handling of the infected colonists. Okay. As a result, you were tasked with monitoring the safety of the colonists for the duration of the observation. Fuck. I want to know about Exogeny Corporation. Exogeny Corporation is at the forefront of human expansion in the new galactic economy, funding colonial development and securing resource rights to ensure our progress as a species. What a great marketing and legal approved tagline. Policy may be directed to consumer information services during regular business hours. Mm hmm. Who's in charge here? Who organized the research? All decisions about local resource analysis and acquisition are made by on-site management deferring to the board of directors only when seasonal quotas are missed or exceeded. Individual employee records are confidential. Damn. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. That's enough for now. Going to standby mode. Thanks, Mr. VI. You did a great job. You were super helpful. But also, fuck you. Fucking fuck you. You corporate overlord bastards. Looks like they're using these claws to anchor that ship inside of the The Geth don't waste much finessing their landings. How do we cut the power if it's coming from the ship? Blow up the ship? We need a way to give it a kick. Let's check the other claws. Damn things can't be perfect. Okay, okay, all right. Nice. Oh boy, those Krogans are not fun to deal with. But you know what? At least I have the best one on my side. Holy butts. Hmm. Confidential. The test samples were due to arrive three days ago, but we haven't heard anything from the colony or the cargo vessel. We suspect the samples became volatile and recommend cutting off all further contact with the Nodacrux colony. Even if the colony is discovered, no one should be able to trace the events uh, there back to us. That sounds fucked up. Where's my, uh, where's my Emily Wong? When can I, when can I start sending this her way? Hmm? When can I give her like a delicious scoop? This claw is identical to the last. We'll have to keep going. Okay. Nice. 
Hi, guy. One more. Hey, Rex, maybe stop shooting the wall, you silly goose. Oh, I see. Okay. I hope your maiden voyage was a success. Goodbye. Goodbye. Alrighty. Exceptional command. Thank you. Be down. We can go deal with this Thorian creature now. Mm. This was my kind of mission. Kill a bunch of guests <laughs> and end things off with a huge crash. Yes. Keep your guard up. There still might be a few Geth inside the base. I'm sure there are. Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? <gasps> they can Anyone hear us there? now. Normandy to shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. They can't do any real damage. We're on our way back. Just hold your position. Uh... Yeah, okay. Well, we'll just wait right here for you, Commander. This place will be crawling with Geth in a minute. Keep together and we'll get out of here in one piece. Well, shit! Alright, Geth. You're gonna be here soon. I can sense it. Here's Johnny. So what information were they trying to get? Maybe they were trying to get it so nobody else would? There you are. Hi, hi! We should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. I need some answers. You knew more about the Thorian than you let on. Yeah, security level four. I, I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they told right. me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I, I, I never meant for this to happen. I believe you. You did what you could. I'll help them if you can tell me where to find the Thorian. The Thorian is underneath Zoo's Hope, but the entrance is blocked. Uh-oh. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. Of course they did. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. Mm. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm chatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. Y you can try. She's gonna die. Oh, uh, and then her mom's gonna be mad at me. Oh, fine. Fine, fine, fine. All right, let's go stop over at Larry Moan Curly's little hideout. We gotta go down one. I think we gotta go down one and then we can. Then we'll be there. Okay. Well, I think that guy is trying. Okay, okay. Also, it's a Mako, not a rover. What are you doing? You can't do this, John. Everyone shut up. Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Uh-oh. Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Oh, okay. 
Maybe that is. Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you, all of you. Okay. Shepard, damn it! I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what happened on a cruise. This doesn't have to end like that. Just a reminder that I survived a coup. Okay. All right. Okay, dokie. Explain what yourself. What do you think you're doing, Jong? Yeah. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. Uh-oh. This is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. Are you going to tell them about the Thorian, or should I? The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus' hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. Uh oh. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. They won't miss you either. Whoop! Why can't I pick these? I won't let you hurt these people anymore. Drop your weapon or be prepared to use it. I don't give a shit. If you want to die, you can die. Is that die. the way it has to be? Heck, come on, come on! Fuck him. As if we don't have enough problems. Now we're shooting each other in the back. It's my fault. I knew what was going on and I didn't do anything. He tried. You start. You do good work and you know it. So what now, Commander? I need to find out why the Geth are after the Thorian. The colonists won't let you near the Thorian. They die first. They're under its control. Hmm. Mm. What else am I supposed to do? There's gotta be another way. I think there is. You could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Love this plan. The gas grenade. Won't I get caught in it too? Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopene, a neuromuscular degenerator. Okay. And if their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. If we must consider it, drop it in a concussion grenade. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. Equip your grenades with the anti-thorian gas upgrade. This will disable this will disable infected colonists without killing them. Thank you for telling me that because I otherwise would not do that. Yeah, let's talk to you. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? Found your data. I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed. Thank you. It wasn't too difficult. Well, I appreciate it. Here, you certainly earned this. Thanks again, Commander. Holy shit! Damn, that was a lot of money. Hopefully I just didn't give it to like a war criminal. <laughs> Uh, modified husks. A Thorian creeper? What was that creature? It certainly wasn't human. No hitting the colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. Very well, Command. Let's go. <laughs> Let's see if I even remember my own 16 colonists alive. I'm gonna fuck this up so bad. I am not. <laughs> it's like stealth missions. It's one of those, I can do it in theory when it goes into practice. Oh boy. I think I'm just gonna save it every step of the way because I'm gonna fuck this up. <sighs> okay. Going into firefights, totally fine. Having to save people has heart palpitations. I can't explain it myself. It's just how it be, okay?
Rex, I can't fucking see. Am I out? Shit. How do I get more grenades? Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna do this right. I'm gonna do this right. I'm gonna do this right. Just running around in circles there, pal. Five left. I really don't want to go through that one door. Because that's just going to be a problem. Come here. Okay, let's kill this fucking plant thing. Did I do it? Is everybody alive? Probably not. There's probably some more. I tried to fight it, but it gets in your head. You're doing okay. I can't imagine the pain. It's all right. It's all right. I still got three left. I was supposed to be their leader. These people trusted me. It's okay, buddy. It wants me to stop you, but I won't. Don't you dare shoot yourself, or else I'll beat. I won't. No, 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 no! Fuck. I don't want to do that ever again. <laughs> that sucked. All right, we just need to find this creature and determine what it. That's the thing, honey. That's the thing. This was not covered by my. Train. That's a plant? That does not look like any plant I've ever seen. This may be problematic. Give me a flamethrower. Oh boy. What's not a, let's okay, there are tentacles. Uh hmm, I'd like to leave now. Okay. No. Mm. No, no, mm -mm, no, I, mm, let me guess, you're gonna, you're gonna, yeah, okay. Sorry? Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. I need what Saren came for. Wouldn't it be for this plant? Um. You gave something to Saren. Something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. What kind of trades? Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. Let the columns go. Let you keep your thralls. Release them now. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Okay. Well. Oh. Where the fuck do you go? Hello, lady. I got you, Garrus. Bye, bitch. Thorian node? Okay. Oh, we're gonna plummet this. Oh, okay. I see. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna make, we're gonna make them plummet and die. That hurt it. I can tell. A few more of those and it's in trouble. Uh oh. Don't be like a Krogan one. Oh, just more Asari. Okay. They look fun. 
Okay. If there was ever any doubt that I didn't make the right choice as a shock trooper, I want this to be proof that I know myself. I know myself pretty well. Okay, I would really appreciate it, though, if you guys would stop walking right in front of me. Nice. I don't like whatever that is. Bro, it was right there. Rex? Good to go, Commander. Oh! Get your ass up here, motherfucker. Catching you up. Hi, Karumba, man. Garrus, I swear on everything that is holy, please stop dying. I applied Metagel 50 times. Were 49 of them during this entire fight? Just wondering. Everybody, please stop dying, including myself. We outie. Woo! Bye. Is that the real one? A uh, real one? I'm free. Oh. Okay. I I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. Who are you? How did you end up inside that thing? My name is Shiala. I serve I served oh. Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Oh, I really should have done this Are mission before Novaros, huh? Benezia Novaris. Estimated Saren as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its uh. secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered ah. the to destroy all evidence of okay. his existence. Well, didn't I sort Saren of help? Saren knows you are searching for the conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the cipher. What does it do? What's the cipher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. You must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. 
The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. Ah. And studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the cipher is knowledge. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The cipher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. Mm. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. Huh? I sensed this ancestral memory, the cipher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught. It simply exists. We need that information. I need the cipher. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Okay. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Uh-oh. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are Ugh. all connected. Ugh. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Oh, shit. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. Ugh. Is this Event Horizon? Ugh. The fuck was that thing? I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. Are you alright? What just happened? Don't worry, I'll be fine. She messed up my mind. I'm okay. We were just... I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. Oh shit. We should get you back to the ship, Commander. Medical needs to know about this. Probably fair. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. What's the conduit? Do you know what the conduit is? Or where it is? No, I'm sorry. All I know is that Saren believes the conduit was the key to the Prothean extinction. Hmm. That can't be good, whatever it is. Agreed. You have the cipher. In time, your visions will clear. They will lead you to the conduit. I only pray you find it before Saren does. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic, and he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature. But now I see he's leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't truly understand it. Hmm. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Hmm. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form, a sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. What should I do with you? Personal question. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries, I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous. 
But I believed in her. I hmm. thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. Oops. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Maybe. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. Phew. Shit, man. That was not so but so. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. And we're free of Exogeny's threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. Yay! I need to save because I am never doing that again. Holy shirt balls. Holy shit. Oh, and I gotta talk to everybody. I gotta talk to everybody. Oh shit, I gotta talk to everybody. Commander, you look pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? The cipher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. We don't? Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. I hope the thing with the teeth aren't the reapers. That was incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. Yeah, I never tell me about imagined it. the experience would be so intense. You are remarkably strong willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Yeah. Did you see anything? A lot. The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are are missing. The data transferred into the commander's mind is incomplete. You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw, you already know. You the were Reapers. right about the Reapers. Mm -hmm. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. Now what? What's our next move? I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh... I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. Goodbye! I sent like... off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Oh god, yes. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. They better not get Commander. mad at me. Exogeny should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. That wouldn't work. Exogeny tried to study it. Look how that turned out. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. I help everyone! Being human had nothing to do with it. They were in trouble. Admirable. But sometimes specters have to make sacrifices. I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. Goodbye, Commander. If it's you guys, no problem. Dicks. Dr. Tassoni. Commander, we need to talk. The three of us. What? This is a rather awkward situation. I'm not trying to make anyone uncomfortable. I'm just trying to figure out where I stand. <sighs> Why are you Maybe doing this to me? we should try to work this out. I think we must. I may not know much about human relationships, but I understand the concept of jealousy. I'm not jealous. I'm confused. I mean, I thought we had something, ma'am. I, I didn't realize that you were a... Well, that you prefer other women. 
I am not exactly a woman, Lieutenant. My species only has one gender. Yeah, but you look... All right, Shepard, make a choice. If you're not serious about me, it'll hurt, but I'll get over it. But until you tell me, I can't get over it. What are these nondescript answers? Can't I have you both? No, that's dirty. They're not open for polyamory in this bitch. Okay, um... I'm sorry, Kaden. I never meant for you to get hurt. But Liara is the one I really care about. Yeah, that's it. I'll be fine, Commander. We're just friends. I understand. Thanks, bud. I hope things work out for you, too. I've got a lot of work to do, Commander. Mission reports, that kind of thing. You know how it is. Sorry. I feel bad for him, Shepard. I hope he'll be okay. He just needs some time. Caden's a Marine. He'll be fine. <laughs> I suppose you're right. I am sorry you were put in this position, but I'm glad you chose me. I don't believe we should continue this discussion here in the comm room, Shepard. No shit. You know where to find me if you want to have a more private conversation. I swear to God, does this flirting get even more intense than the other games? Because I am not emotionally ready. Okay, everything's fine. All right, let's talk to Liara first. We'll rip this band-aid off. She is very pretty. Are you coming to check up on me? I was worried. Much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. Goodbye. She's the best. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I like talking with you, Liara. No matter what the subject. You have been very understanding with me, Shepard. Very patient. I appreciate that. I know there are some strange beliefs about my people. I am familiar with the legend of Asari promiscuity. But those rumors have little basis in fact. When one of my people joins with an individual from another species, it is a very deep and spiritual exchange. We do not enter lightly into a union. You make it sound almost mystical. A true union goes far beyond an ordinary melding. It is a connection that transcends the physical universe. Two become one. Thoughts and senses merge. Cue the music. Identities intertwine. Memories and I need some spice girls weave themselves together becoming entangled in a single rapturous whole it is unlike any other experience Inside I'm not laughing at whole you're laughing at whole life-changing event I'm intrigued that amazing are you saying no oh no uh, I am not very good at this am I <laughs> I'm sorry Shepard I am trying to explain why I have been so reserved ah, i'm the so awkward more than just sex it is the lifeblood of my species the way we asari evolve and grow as a society that is why i have never uh i mean that is why we must choose our partners with great care there's no rush i want you to be absolutely sure about this liara i am only 106 barely an adult by asari standards and I spend most of my time absorbed in my research. I never really thought about it. Not until I met you. You are very special to me, Shepard. But with all that's happened, Saren, the Geth, the Reapers, I do not know if we are ready for this. We got, we got time. These are dark times, Liara. We got time. Maybe once all this is over. I'm glad you understand, Shepard. There is too much at stake. We need to put aside our personal feelings and focus on stopping Saren. Sounds good. I wish it did not have to be that way. But we all have to make sacrifices. Let's let's talk about something else. I'm all set. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Thanks, Theara, for I, I respect your boundaries. I appreciate the talk. It's real. I like the timeline. Let's do it. Uh, okay. We're just gonna rip off that band-aid. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Unless he gives me the cold shoulder and is like, fuck off, lady. Anything you need, Commander? About Liara and me. Is everything all right? I guess I have to. I'm not in high school anymore, Shepard. I'm disappointed, sure. But you made your choice. I'll do my duty. Don't worry about that. 
You're a good man, Caden. I'm sorry it didn't work out. Just forget it, okay? Like Pascal said, the heart has its reasons, which reason cannot know. She mm. seems like a nice girl, man. I hope things work out between you two. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Bye. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Okay, let's go talk to Tally, Rex, and Ashley, and Garrus. Commander? How are we doing? What's your opinion of the last mission? Gotta admire those colonials. That's about the worst place for a colony I've ever seen. Given the option, I'd get the hell out of Dodge. I don't need to do can we talk. Dismissed, Chief. All right, Garrus. Where you at, cutie patootie? Oh, hi. Commander, I wanted to thank you. Thank me? What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. Wait, didn't we already do this? Lot. I'm, uh, thanks, Commander. You bet. You're welcome, Garrus. Is it? That's what we want to talk about? Shepard. So you'd rather be a merc than help your people. Damn it. I'm a fighter. I've already, That's what I do. I've already done this. All right, I think we are good friendos. I'm going to go ahead and call this episode here, but thank you very much for tuning in through my entire playthrough of Mass Effect for the first time. I'm having an absolutely wonderful time. Holy crap, that was a long mission. We're going to go to Citadel, maybe do some other side questing, and then go to Vermeer. And that's where we're at with the story. So thank you very much again. Um, if you want to leave me any suggestions for the next game that you'd probably like to see with this, besides Mass Effect 2, I'm, I'm just building a library. Uh, let me know, but I will be jumping into that after we beat this game. So, thank you very much. Please, uh, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe uh, to all of those things. Hit that bell so you know when all these new updates are coming. We got lots of bonus features for you. Um, and thank you very much. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Okie dokie. Goodbye!